off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Hi. Sorry I forgot to end yesterday's video. I'm editing it right now. And it just occurred to me as I'm editing. Oh, I didn't get back on. So I'm so sorry. And unfortunately today is a pullback day for my hair. I actually am sad I'm doing that. I've really enjoyed doing my hair lately, but you know, it is what it is. Um, I don't want to bother with my hair today. As much as, what? Here, here's the thing, is I need to be motivated to work out this afternoon. Despite wanting it to be look nice, this morning, Jason and I are going to Seattle and we might go to lunch, do something kind of fun in Seattle, but I need to work out tonight. And if I have my hair done nice, have makeup on, I'm not gonna work out. Okay, so I need to go for a walk tonight. Maybe Jason will go with me, I don't know. But I didn't wanna have my hair done. So, but Jason just mapped out how long it's gonna take us to get to the Tesla service station where we need to go and get an estimate done for insurance from his accident. He's also gonna have the, like the tire bearings checked because the weight on the, on the back tire, I think, has come off and so it's warble. It's just kind of warbly. We were gonna take two cars, but as of right now, it's already an hour wait, an hour drive when it's normally like a 20 minute drive. I don't wanna wait in traffic alone. He doesn't wanna wait alone. If we take one car, we can do the carpool lane and potentially get closer. Um, I think the carpool lane crossing I-90 is going the Seattle direction, so we have a better chance going there in the carpool, um, and we're just gonna risk it and be bored sitting in the service station. <laughs> we were gonna go and do something while we waited down in Seattle somewhere, but the traffic is dictating what we do. Normally, I don't make these breakfast drinks or packed with sugar, but because the traffic is um, a little bit longer today, I don't have time to, well, normally I don't eat breakfast this early, but I also don't wanna risk being really hungry and nauseous at the Tesla place and not being able to do anything about it. So I'm just gonna get something to fill my belly now. I am gonna grab a protein bar from the garage. Oh, I have half of one, not a protein bar. I have half of a fig bar from yesterday. I'm gonna grab a protein bar. That's what we're doing. Jason's taking Ashley to the bus stop. Um, we would have left earlier and had more time, but we have to get her off the bus, so. All right, so we're kind of testing something in the car. Um, we're obviously both in the Tesla, and he's been mapping out how long it would take us to get there, and right before we left, it was like 55 minutes to get there, and then when we got in, and so we were like, we gotta go, we gotta go, and then he got in the car, and he's like, it's still saying 55, 50 minutes or so, or whatever, it's getting a little bit better, but let's just go anyway. And then I got in the car and we started driving and all of a sudden it's dropped 24 minutes. Now either it is better traffic all of a sudden or it senses that I am in the second seat and I know that it does that because it turns on my air when I'm in the car and when it's just him in the car, it only turns on air on him. Like the actual like airflow does not turn on to the second seat. Um, so I think it knows that we have two people in the car and we can take the carpool lane and it has adjusted the time. So I checked the map on my phone given the same directions and it is saying like 10 minutes fast or slower to on my phone with the same, same location, same directions. So I think it is adjusting for the fact that there's two people in the car, which is crazy. Yes, oh my gosh, of course, oh my, we're turning sideways, like you can tell on my camera that I'm like, <laughs> I can't pull myself up, ridiculous. He's like really stressed. I'm not stressed. You are. Why, I'm not stressed. Sphincter tight? I'm not. Sphincter tight, no. yes, no. yes. 
we have like an extra 45 minutes after we get there. We're gonna get there so early. No, and we're not gonna have anything to do. We're gonna check in early. I know, like there's zero traffic right now. So, I don't know. But you need to just, it's gonna be fine. Your car is gonna get taken <laughs> care of. Shut it's up. gonna be okay. They're literally gonna look at the bumper and say, where's the damage? <laughs> exactly. exactly, and they're I like. Know. And I'd be like, dude, feel it. It's right here, it's that crease. I don't want All right, I, I'm really curious to hear, hear what they're gonna say. Maybe I can try and record like, them. I don't want it buffed out. There's a crease. Okay, okay. And there's the wobble. Yeah, there's the wobble. There's they can't the hear the wobble. There's yeah, you can tell. Yeah, you can tell, you can hear this uh, clanking. There's a new day that will come again tomorrow. There's a new day to wash away the pain. What say ye? Uh, we pull it in. Uh. So we get in a little early. And? And then we go, we can wait in the waiting room. Oh, look at this. There's freaking ramps. Well, yeah, it's a loading center thing, so. This is insane. This is insane. I've never seen a service center like this. Yeah, they can crazy. Do we go all the way in or? Well, I don't know. They're pulling some cars forward. I think we just get out. We can just get out and. I think so. And then we go inside and there's a waiting area. There's a new okay. day to take away your sorrow. And the old ways get washed out by the rain. Someone's happy to get his car back. <laughs> Looking nice and pretty right here. Kind of cool to like go out. Up and down the ramp. Little ramp or whatever. So we'll tuck that in there. Yeah. So, what did we get fixed and what do we have pending? You don't do it like that. Come on. Jeez, you're such um, a mess. Uh, so they fixed some tire foam in the tire, so it won't vibrate now, and, um, uh, they took pictures and everything for the damage, the little bump. <laughs> and we'll get that estimate in and a few days. we'll send the estimate in a few days, which is like, I don't know, it's not that hard, just take off the plastic, put on new plastic, how much does that plastic and labor cost? So, I now have to then take... That. I need to email the person and say, hey, this, they're going to send it to me in a few days. Yeah. Uh, to the insurance. To the insurance company. Um, Correct. So that's it. So now we just need to go fast and make sure it doesn't vibrate. Oh my goodness sakes. <laughs> You're so dumb. So what are we going to do now? Are we going to go eat? We I don't do? know. We were already in Seattle with... Uh, I know. Uh, Patty. Patty and them, yeah. I know. Well, we can go do something else. I know. It's just what else is there to do in we want to eat. <laughs> we're going to figure out what we're going to do. We don't really want to go home. Kaylee um, is probably done with school, technically. She's probably coming home. Uh, but she forgot to take her laptop, turn her laptop in, and she was begging uh, Abby to take it to school tomorrow. Because technically, Kaylee is done with school. And I was like, no, this isn't Abby's responsibility. This is yours, girl. You have an entire day. Yes. You can go home. Abby shouldn't have to do that. Get she has your laptop. Own, she has finals Take it stuff. back to school today. That's your responsibility. She's like, okay. Well, when are you guys going to be home to do it? And I'm, it doesn't matter. It <laughs> doesn't do it, girl. <laughs> Welcome to adulthood. Welcome to adulthood. So, anyway, I, I don't have anything else that I need to do today. Um, I don't even have laundry. If you can believe that. So we're going to go find something to do. So you can see we're kind of in the industrial side of Seattle. Seattle's, I mean, we're in Seattle, but like all of the city is like over there. There's all the stadiums, which we will be to that stadium, T-Mobile Park, in like three days. Figured out where we might want to go. Just want to give you a bird's eye view of where Kaylee's graduation is going to be coming up. So you tune back in right there. That's the Mariner's Field. Okay. Alright, we're 
right, we decided to come to our tried and true Chinooks. It's over here in Ballard, over at the Fisherman's Wharf. This is the like takeout one. You can sit out here, and then the restaurant one is right here. I really hope they're open. I guess, we should have, I guess we should have I sure checked if the restaurant is open. It looks. Like I saw someone just go in. I'm hoping there. I mean, it's a full parking lot, so hopefully. Yeah, let's see what these guys do. But, you know, while we wait for all the parking spots to open up, Jason finds uh, one of the last ones. Got to be careful opening your door. Oh, okay. So the water puddle that was under your feet in the other parking spot was one we couldn't go to. But if... Go around over there. It's a bigger one over there. Oh, my gosh. You guys, this is what I deal with. This is what I... He wouldn't do this if it was my car. I guarantee you. I would. I would try no, to you would not. I always try to park... I mean, no, out of that one to come you around, would not have. But, nope, no. you wouldn't have. Cause I promise you this. If you try to get some sleep, if you give up the fight. And as it usually happens, Jason usually leaves me at the table right when we get one to go to the bathroom. It, it literally happens every time. I'm just sitting here alone. Alright, we had a yummy lunch. He's sending the directions to get back home to the car. I wanted to come outside and get warmed up a bit. And uh, it's just fun. This is called Fisherman's Wharf. Um, it's where all the actual like Alaskan fisher boats come, um, and regular boats. Like there's a regular one coming in right there. Um, I don't know what he's doing. Uh, and actually, the one from what is that? What is that show called, Jace? The Alaska Fisherman one. Greatest catch or something. Like Greatest catch. His boat is usually docked here, down at the end over here. So that's always kind of cool if you can catch um, his boat out here. Um, but uh, while he's doing that, we are going to test it. He's sending the map um, directions back home to the car and we're going to test it to see if it's right now telling us 44 minutes to get home. And we're going to test and see if me getting in the car changes that. And then also... Um, it's gonna. <laughs> I got a, a scan while we were sitting here eating dinner. I got a scan opportunity. Um, it's an invasive <laughs> ultrasound scan. The ones that I get volunteered for and pay, get paid for. And this one pays a lot um, because it's invasive. I'll just say that. And uh, they need me like now. <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna be able to make it till about two. And it's a three hour scan, which is part of why it pays a lot. Um, so we are gonna hurry and dash off. That was good lunch. Good lunch. And it's always, I don't know, it's just fun to come to these places because we have good memories of coming here with my parents and your parents before, when we first got married, we would come oh, yeah, down here. before we had kids and everything. Um, before we were married. Yeah. Normally I would walk, we would walk all the way down and show you the big yachts and the big fisher boats and stuff down there. But um, I think we need to get. We can walk along here and then go out over here. Oh, okay. But we need to get headed home um, for me to go and do this scan. So, we kind of had an open afternoon after this, but now I'm completely booked. Jason's going to run over to Costco. Uh, I talked to the florist at Costco about the Lay's, and she said that they're only going to have them at Costco Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So if I want one for Kaylee's graduation on Thursday, I need to get it on Wednesday. But actually, she has a high school like graduation practice ceremony celebration thing tomorrow night. And it's the only opportunity to actually get photos of them in their cap and gown versus at the stadium. You're not with them and you can't meet up with them until you're outside of the stadium. And then they don't want you to linger because the new high school is coming in for their graduation. So you don't get a chance to take photos that night and so I kind of need to have <laughs> the lay today so he's gonna go to Costco for me see if we can get it see if we can get it this is this still recording just have to make sure <laughs> um, the lady said they sell out pretty quick 
and it's already one, it'll be two o'clock by the time he gets to Costco, so I'm kind of worried that they'll already be sold out, but my hope is that people haven't thought about it. <laughs> Why can't you go tomorrow and get them? Because they're not available tomorrow. Oh, they only put them there. They're only putting them there Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Oh. Which, which is why I only saw them one time last week. I think I went to Costco twice last week, but I only saw them one of the days. So, we'll get it today, and it'll stay good in the fridge until tomorrow night. Okay, we're gonna test this. Right, what does it say right now? Okay. I'm being summoned that I can get in. Okay, what does it say now? 42 minutes. Let's see if it changes. I don't know if it does. We'll see, shut the door. Okay. Okay, it's not really changing. So, I don't know if our thing has been proven. I'm home and apparently when I put my hair in those little teeny tiny hair ties, they don't actually last very long. So, halfway through my scan, they popped off and I have curly hair now. So, um, but we kind of have a predicament here at home. Right when we came home, Jason's brother called. He's doing very good. Um, is actually talking. Sounds like his vocal cords are not paralyzed anymore. Uh, it's he's scratchy. He's got to talk scratchy. quiet. Yeah, but um, this isn't this good. Is a problem. We got home and we how opened do you up. Fix this. I know how to That's fix like. Wood. No, it's pulled out of the door. Right. I know how to fix wood. So we came home and all, we heard something kind of clamor to the floor. Ping. Let me show you, ping, whatever. Um, this bolt, let me show you where this belongs. It belongs right there. The only attachment to the garage door. That whole bar actually attaches with this one bolt and one of them is missing. Right there. It's I don't know if it, is it, is it, is it I know, side. I know it's the other side. I can't get over there. But is it stripped in the door? Uh, I think so, probably. Let me get my. All right. Jason used some Gorilla Glue and re screwed in that bolt, but we're both kind of hesitant on that <laughs> solution. Like, it's all writing on those two bolts. I don't get it. And uh, the Gorilla Glue has to cure for 24 hours. And I don't really want the garage door to crash down on me, so I'm kind of like stuck here until 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. I guess. I don't know. But. I'm not sure. I'm, it's like, that's the only thing I think to do. I know. And honestly, I got the bolt back in, but I just want to add more protection back in there. Yeah. He's going to have his uh, creamy. You're pretty attached to these now, aren't you? This blender is pretty good. <laughs> You're such a <laughs> schmuck. <laughs> right. I'm not a douche. Blender. It does make me happy that so many of you have bought them. And I want to know what your recipes are, what your favorite ones are. Um, it's always fun to find new, what? Yeah, I'm, I know, I'm asking them. Put your recipes down below. Don't do links. Don't do links to recipes because that will get flagged and then I'll have to approve your comment. Um, so just send me an actual recipe if you have good ideas, preferably protein ones for me and what protein powders taste good to you. Um, my hair is kind of like driving me crazy because it's like really curly right, right here. Okay, he's doing that. Okay, I'm just sitting here working on my computer, watching a little Patty Mayo on YouTube. Um, and this just came in the mail, a notification for it. It is Kaylee's graduation announcements. Um, let me show you what they look like, they're so cute. Isn't this so cute? Covering up the name of her high school down here. Um, but isn't that so cute? These are the ones that we got done in Hawaii. Um, and this was her pick of what ones she wanted on the front. Um, we also, I love the logo of Pine and Palm. There you go. Pine and Palm is who did our photo session. So if you are in Maui and you want your family photos done, or even like grad photos or baby photos or gender reveal, <laughs> so many options. But I just loved um, what they did with her um, announcements. So cute. And here is the back of it. And if you would like 
to support her going to college. Pause the screen. There's her Venmo. <laughs> you can send her um, a little contribution, if you will. Um, you don't have to. No one's obligated to. But we added that to the back of her announcements, just in case family wanted to give her a little support um, as she heads off to college. And luckily, I have my list all ready to go for who is going to receive these invitations. And I'm going to probably sit down and work on them tonight while I watch a show. Um, let's see here. Yep, I have about 40. I mean, I have 37, 36 or 37 on my list. Um, I left a few extras just in case I, I thought of a few extra people at the last minute. Um, and Kaylee is going to give some to her teachers tomorrow um, when she goes to her grad night. Tomorrow is grad night at the high school. Um, so uh, I have some stuffing to do, putting these in to the envelopes and then addressing them to friends and family, which is kind of fun. Jason's watching a movie. I don't know what you're watching. A show. A show. Orville. <laughs> okay. Um, not really feeling like going out and going for a walk. It was 88, 89 degrees when we got home, to be fair. And then the garage broke, and then I sat down to edit, and that sounds more fun. <laughs> and now it's like 6 o'clock. Should get the kids something to eat, but... <sighs> Graduation stuff is headed our direction. It's right upon us this week. It's kind of crazy. But I gotta hurry and get these out in the mail. Okay, I spent, I don't know, probably more than an hour getting most of the cards prepped. Can't show them to you because I have our address and our friend's address. Um, but I do have them all prepped. I just need to seal the backs of them. And Kaylee has some to give to her teachers. And Jason has some for his partners at work that have known us Kaylee's entire life. <laughs> so we have a few addresses left to get. Um, I think that's all I need. His three, um, partners and one of our employees i will mail one to her oh i forgot that one i will do that one um but other than that they're all ready to go they're all stamped i'm gonna go take them to the post office tomorrow morning if i can open the garage days jason's gonna test the garage tonight and see if it opens or if it snaps <laughs> i don't know what we do um call the garage company again i guess have them see if they can fix it but um it's really the only, only errand I have to... Oh, did I? I didn't show you. I'm going to end this video because I'm just finishing dinner. Um, I'm making a snack. We got frozen cookie dough. And I just want some tonight. I'm just doing it. I'm just doing it. While I was doing my scan, Jason went and ran an errand for me. Look what he got for Kaylee tomorrow. Since her graduation um, celebration tomorrow at the high school is the one where we can actually get photos with her, her friends, with us, versus the one at the stadium, the actual graduation, you have to like immediately exit the stadium for the next high school to come in. They do not let you take any photos with your graduate at the stadium, and so there's no point in having this for that night. Um, but they only sold these at Costco on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And so I had him run and grab them today. Will that shut? Um, in order to have them for her thing tomorrow night um, at the high school. So she doesn't know about those. So I gotta keep that a secret. I will present that to her. And then, um, on top of that, my sister um, always gives all the graduates in my family um, their own little lays. So this one is made out of 20 one dollar bills and a whole bunch of little flowers and then let me see if i can show you you'll see these all on her tomorrow because i will be taking them with me to put on her that one is a candy and there's another one and then one more so she has three candy ones a money one and a real flower one she doesn't know about the flower one, but she was able to open this one on FaceTime with my sister yesterday um, when she got it. And so that is all ready to go. Um, so stay tuned for tomorrow. Graduation stuff starts um, fresh and early. <laughs> oh, 
Are you, did you know that you left the, the freezer open? Please. <laughs> He's really loving the creamies. He comes up with little concoctions. He even put like a, what did you put in it? Like a protein whey powder or something? Is that what you put in it last time? What did you put in it? You said it didn't work quite well. Roll. Was it this one? Well, no, I've just been mixing. I just can't get quite the right mix. Oh. It's hard to get it all like mixed up. All right. Well, he, while he's having his little snack, I'm gonna go get mine ready, and I'm gonna say good night to you guys. Get ready for graduation videos. There are gonna be a couple of them, and I apologize now. It's just the way graduation week goes. They have multiple celebrations, um, and she has extra parties. She has. A breakfast to go to she has a graduation practice to go to it's just I'm sure a lot of you have had graduates and it just starts one after another but this is our first time so stay tuned and we will see you guys very soon easy, easy on our tip